So here we are with the Prophet 5 Rev 2. What we're going to try to do is run it through the front panel and show that all the knobs work. First, let's see if all the keys work. So that's just, <clears throat> that's just with oscillator 1 um, and pulse wave. You can see here the waveform. Um, let's see, the frequency knob works. With that little bit of discreteness that's inherent to the Prophet 5. The pulse wave. We also have the sawtooth wave, of course, and the combination. All five notes. Let's see, let's play with the filter a little bit. That's with the, so far we've had the filter wide open. Let's bring it down a little. Bring the keyboard control the filter in. Some resonance. So you get good tracking on the filter. Turn off the keyboard tracking, you get. <clears throat> Turn the keyboard tracking back on. Filter, of course, goes to resonance. Filter envelope works, of course. Long attack, short attack. Long decay, short decay. Sustain works fine, and of course we have to turn on the release to hear the release. Need some release in the BCA envelope. Let's open the filter back up again. And check the amplifier uh, ADSR. So let's see, slow attack. And decay to a mid sustain.
changing the sustain. And release. So let's bring oscillator 2 in there. Let's test oscillator 2 by itself. Open up the filter again. Um, have simple no release on the thing. So here's no nothing at all in the mixer. All the mixers are down to zero. Bring up oscillator 2. Oops, let's turn on the oscillator 2 waveform and keyboard. <clears throat> now let's put oscillators one and two together. Let's do it just on the pulse wave. Fine frequency now works. So now we have both oscillators 1 and 2 going. We can turn all the waveforms, get something pretty rich. The unison key brings all the voices together. Yeah, not something nice and fat. Unison. Oh, with unison, of course, we have the option of wide. Unison's back off now. Let's see what else. We also have noise. So that's the basic synthesizer. Let's play with modulation. 
We have the LFO over here. Let's turn on a triangle wave. It's controlled by the mod wheel. Um, we have to send it to somewhere. Let's send it someplace obvious, like frequency 1 and 2. Had a little bit of noise in the uh, modulation mix there. If we want to get a little more subtle, we could put it into the pulse width modulation. Form, see what we get. Let's put in the square wave LFO. Let's play some games like put the triangle LFO into just frequency one. So So that's with the LFO. Now, oh, we also, of course, could put noise into the LFO. So what's happening here is that here's oscillator two by itself. Oscillator 1 is being modulated heavily by noise, uh, oscillator 1 frequency. So bring that up, that's what you hear. So that's the LFO. 
Now we also have the polymod thing where we can have oscillator 2 um, modulating uh, things as well. So, and you either have the filter envelope, for, so the filter envelope here is now modulating. Let's see, we need oscillator 1 in here. Filter envelope is now um, modulating, well, the filter, but that's sort of boring because that's just doubling the filter. But we could have it modulating oscillator 2, oscillator 1, frequency. So you can have an envelope. Modulating the frequency of oscillator one. Actually, in this mode, I can turn oscillator two back on. So I can have a little, little Or just a little more subtle pulse width of oscillator one. But where the fun really begins is when I have oscillator two modulating either oscillator one or a filter. Now, of course, at low frequency, keyboard off, triangle shape. Here's modulating the pulse width of oscillator one. Now that's just kind of like having the LFO do that. Now the difference is, of course, that I can be doing this at much higher frequencies. But first at low frequency, do it at frequency one, frequency of oscillator one. Same, same waveforms as the LFO, except I can change the pulse width. But of course where the fun really begins is when we do all this at audio frequencies, where we turn off the low frequency, let oscillator 2 run at audio frequency. Off of. Now oscillator two is modulating the filter. And then sweeping the oscillator two frequency. But the keyboard control of oscillator two is off, so I'm getting a different effect on each note. Where it gets to be even more interesting is when I turn keyboard control of oscillator two on. And so now I've got exponential frequency control of the filter. Which at high resonance starts to be kind of interesting. In there.
actually if we listen to just the filter in self resonance we get this See if I do what happens if I do that with pulse width. Oops. Pulse width on oscillator one. We have to turn oscillator one on. So here's just one note. So that is audio rate modulation of pulse width of audio one of oscillator one. Slider one without the modulation. And now get really crazy, we can modulate oscillator one frequency. See, the only two things left that I've demonstrated are the sync. So here's oscillator one. Let's see, let's get oscillator one and two back in tune again. Then bring oscillator two down a couple octaves. because of the way I got set. There. And now we'll turn on sync. Slow your frequency a little bit. Let's see, let's get something interesting filter thing going here. So sync works. I guess I should show sync working on the oscilloscope. So as 
a very oscillator 2 frequency. You can see the sync point moving a little bit. And we have the sustain pedal. It's the usual sustain pedal. If I turn off release, sustain pedal down, it sustains. Sustain pedal up, it doesn't sustain. So it all works. In a separate video, I will uh, walk through the presets that we have. Um, oh, well, one thing I haven't, the only other thing I haven't tried is the pitch wheel. I guess that works. And there you have it.